Good morning guys. Another day begins fresh with energy, fresh with uh, optimism, fresh with things to do and our to-do lists are ready and we are ready to jog into the work. Now before that uh, let's, let me tell you um, there is an event which is uh, being organized by Career Counseling Online uh, it is on Friday. Now, we are actually going into an open session through Zoom virtual meeting, okay, wherein actually 12 person uh, can be in the virtual room. We have kept the uh, number of uh, participants a uh, minimum of 12 because we wanted this uh, session to be very interactive. We wanted everybody to have a, a, a chance to talk about to understand the situation see uh, this is going to be hosted by me and along with me I would have uh, as co-host uh, Saurav Gotakuta from UAE who is uh, working uh, with uh, Al Nabuda Automobiles and uh, he was one of our guests of honor in one of the last week uh, session see the main thing is what we are trying to do is we are trying to understand how important it is to take care of the physical uh, health uh, to actually win over to actually win over the mental blockage that we are going through it is true that the pandemic is creating havoc it is true that we are all traumatized in some extent or others and it becomes very very important in such a situation to uh, hold on to our mental health um, uh, through uh, the physical health right so the thing is as i always mention that a healthy mind can only uh, reside in a healthy body on this session on friday uh, 7th uh, you can visit our facebook page and there you can find this event you need to reserve your seat you you just have an option of reserve my seat there is a button when you click on that there will be three basic questions which will be asked as to um, uh, in terms of the session that we are going to uh, conduct those are very basic questions but i would just like to have the answers a one liner is absolutely fine not a problem and uh, what is uh, that going to do is it is going to reserve your seat for that uh, conference for that open uh, discussion okay and the moment uh, you complete this uh, three uh, question and submit your um, reserve my seat application online only uh, you would immediately get a confirmation with all the uh, zoom uh, uh, urls the password uh, the meeting ids and other things 7 uh, 7 pm on friday all you need to do is you just need to log into that uh, zoom link okay with the username and password uh, that would be given and join the meeting join the meeting uh, with a interactive session uh, along with the video and audio uh, and uh, participate and have your question answered we are going to bring in some of the uh, best minds uh, you know who are trying to work on this uh, like uh, for Saurav uh, he is uh, absolutely into football. He's, he's, he's a soccer fan. He's a Manchester United fan. And he, uh, the last day also, we spoke about uh, taking care of health and taking care of the mental health also. So he would be joining us. Uh, he has spoken to legendary uh, footballers. He has uh, covered up interviews with legendary footballers, cricketers, and so on. And he is into outdoor sports he's into a lot of outdoor activities also uh, we might have uh, uh, a very a big celebrity joining us uh, mr bishwajit ghosh who's an ex indian air force uh, 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 professional or ex indian air force uh, service person and uh, he's also uh, a, a great nature lover he's into uh, a lot of things uh, these days he's into production these days he's into movie making he has acted in couple of movies which are now getting screened across the globe um, so it's going to be very very interactive because he's also uh, during this lockdown period uh, we have seen him uh, you know posting his videos about uh, indoor exercises and to keep the mental health up okay so we are going to bring in more and more uh, professionals more interactive sessions are going to happen so guys please go uh, visit our Facebook page which is career counseling online and reserve your seat with that event on Friday now big 
you know with that uh, let's begin on this uh, topic that i mentioned yesterday um, we will be talking about all right the thing is guys in this competitive world uh, uh, see everybody is competing uh, for uh, you know basically three things first thing is uh, to reach to certain new heights to get new recognition right and to be recognized now these are the three aspects which are driving people i mean uh, uh, see uh, for many it is driving the very healthy uh, healthy way but for some others people are taking this uh, to a different level altogether and uh, you know as i always mention see uh, you need to work hard you need to work with dedication you need to work with a lot of uh, enthusiasm okay when you are actually into uh, this uh, man management and this uh, corporate world you literally need to uh, work very hard to reach the top now the thing is see honestly speaking over my past 20 years of experience what i have found is see reaching on the top is uh, comparatively easy comparatively easy uh, yes you have to put up a lot of hard work you have to put a lot of uh, you know uh, thinking process analytical process and you have to uh, be very open towards learning a lot of aspects are considered it's true but the main thing is what i have found out from my past experience is see compared to how hard it is to stay on the top reaching on the top is uh, pretty easy right from my experience i can say that now the thing is everybody is trying to reach on the top everybody is trying to uh, be somewhere okay now with that competition with the rat race happening uh, there is a lot of stress happening also there is a lot of uh, negativity also but the thing is even after fighting all these uh, you know internal external uh, conflicts uh, that goes into the mind of a leader once they have reached the top now they have only one objective to take care of to retain that position repeatedly because you need to understand once he has climbed up there are others also who's climbing up the ladder okay and they will throw competition they will throw uh, situations which will obviously uh, make your position questionable unless unless you are taking care of your professional life unless you're taking care of what you're doing unless you're taking care of even your personal behavior so guys uh, uh, drawing a uh, you know reference from the ancient scriptures what i can say is what i would like to say is see uh, the vedas or the ancient scriptures mentions that the main uh, hindrance behind any human beings to reach or attain uh you know the ultimatum of uh, you know performance or of spirituality is the six senses okay now what are we talking about thank you sujada for joining uh hope you are doing safe and sound with your family and um, it's great to have you it's great to have you here with us right now the thing is see uh, as i was saying see uh, the ancient scriptures always mentioned the six uh, sensual senses which controls a human being see we are human beings we are uh, you know we are receptive to input from outside through the six senses now what does the ancient scriptures uh, mentions about controlling the six senses see in the ancient scriptures it was mentioned that the king or the conqueror through a uh, utilization of motivation meditation and science should secure the six senses to successfully to successfully run his kingdom to successfully run his uh, you know expansion of kingdom and to run his court very successfully so what are the six points uh, you know we all know the six senses uh, uh, i'll talk about it one by one so the first uh, comes is uh, karma karma uh, karma means the lust now what is lust now let's not uh, draw a conclusion about uh, karma being uh, into a different dimension altogether what is karma or the lust in terms of corporate world that we are in today see the karma or the lust is a desire which is attached which is attached to certain things emotions or feelings now in terms of management in terms of corporate world what does karma or lust signify the thing is once you have reached the top see you start or the leader starts developing an attachment about the position 
right i mean that makes them forget their deliverables that makes them forget that now they are being constantly looked upon not only not only by the outsiders but also the insiders now what are who are the outsiders the outsiders for the corporate world are the uh, consumers or the competitors now who i mean uh, you can you can even uh, you know say that you can hide from those but you are constantly being watched or you are constantly being judged by your internal customers also who are they they are your team members they are your employees okay now they look upon a leader as somebody who's going to transform their life right we talk about mind transformation how does that happen in a corporate world it can only happen when the leaders are setting up examples see coming back to the last the first thing is the uh, first sense that we're talking about here is last or the karma see the leaders once they have worked very hard once they have literally worked you know for years to reach a position uh, of responsibility once they reach there you know they tend to get into a relaxing mode that is very very dangerous because when you are taking this uh, success of yours uh, uh, you know uh, like for granted you go into a mode like i have worked hard i have had my share of struggle i have worked so hard now that i have uh, come here it's all mine now the thing is what does that do that makes you complacent right i mean that makes you forget about the other climbers who are trying for the same position that you are holding there as i mentioned in the ladder you are never alone so there are people who are climbing up how can you keep yourself suitable for the position is by you know moving ahead once you have reached up okay the main responsibility lies with you is to create new leaders right so that's how you move on from the role of a leader who has reached top to a mentor now when you are mentoring what is happening is you are constantly learning you are contributing much more than a leader and you are much more focused so in the corporate world the karma or the last signifies your attachment to the position and the responsibility and the good parts that comes along with it the moment the leader takes those for granted well I cannot or nobody can or any management school cannot guarantee your position as the top leader for years. So if you have to stay there, literally you have to pass on the mantle. You have to train the other people, other employees and inspire them to come up to that position. Otherwise, you appear to them as a dictator or, or, or a monopolistic leader who's trying to hold on to the position right so the responsibility of the leaders was the rich top is to create more leaders to move on to a role of a mentor right so now with that uh, uh, comes on to the second uh, senses second senses says krodha kama krodha krodha means anger now when you are a leader you need to understand one thing when you are a team member you can show your tantrums or you can show your likes and dislikes but once you are a leader you need to understand you are under a microscope okay you are under a microscope and unless unless you have a calm and cool head to take care of the daily operations to run your team to you know be with the management see nobody likes a person who's impulsive with the emotions so a leader who cannot control his anger appears to be impulsive what does that do is it closes the door it closes the door of your employees and other stakeholders to approach you with their problem so the thing is the problem keeps on building and you are not aware of and people cannot approach you because they they fear that you might be very angry or you are in not right, right mood right today maybe it can be told to you later on but the thing is by the time it is told to you the damage is already done with the ripple effect the problem has multiplied into a magnitude which might not be within your norms of control so when you are a leader once you have reached the top to retain the position you have to have control over your emotions over your anger because that can only ensure that you are approachable that you can be approached by your team members and others and you are aware of the situation and you are going to have a solution worked out of it right so the first uh, point was uh, 
kama which is the last last for the position for the power uh, krodha which is the anger right so leaders needs to keep a very cool head while working on operations while handling manpower because anything can go wrong but if you are reactive as the rest of the organization or the rest of the team well the question is what difference that makes you from them right so with that i would say uh, uh, the third point uh, comes as greed or lobha kama krodha lobha lobha greed is like when you want uh, everything for yourself like what does that signify in terms of the corporate world in terms of the corporate world in terms of the business world what does that mean while you are handling a team is see a leader who is uh, on the top uh, if if he gets greedy for recognition he will always talk about uh, the success in his way of contribution it will be always like okay i did this step i did this and i was able to do this and uh, you know i uh, thought about it and i was very analytical so this success came in the project was success because i was uh, on time and so on now this greed is the greed for fame right the loba the greed for fame because you want to be in the spotlight you want to be in the limelight and th what does that mix uh, the team is the team members who have contributed towards this cumulative success feels very deprived feels ignored feels their contribution to be uh, not uh, a part of the whole contribution so what does that do is the employee starts missing the big picture of them into the vision of the organization see the organization uh, reacts or acts to the leaders only now the organization has the policy at the principles or the process but the leaders when they are greedy you know when they develop this greed for self fame what that do is they go into position of ignorance of the team members contribution what does that do is the team members feels left out what will happen is over the long period of time see nobody is going to give 100% because ultimately one guy or other starts saying that oh, what is the point behind it because whatever good things you know we do you know uh, you know he's going to take all the credit so i'll just do the job i mean uh, I, i will not go the extra mile and deliver the best so that the project can be a wonderful project right so as a leader you run to, into a risk because the more critical projects come in you need to understand you need this team or the team members only to work along you know on this situation and come out successful now if your team members are not relying on you in terms of you know you being a thief of their uh, fame uh, you, you know there is a lack of respect when that happens you know when that happens the leader starts losing the grip or the control over the team members now without the team as i saw it yesterday the king always ruled the kingdom on basis of two aspects first was the treasury which is the finance in terms of corporate world and second is the armory or the army or the manpower in terms of modern day uh, uh, you know business setup okay so think about it a king goes into a war okay he's he's very skilled he's uh, fighting the war with his strategy and everything but the thing is his army does not trust him because he knows whatever the thing is max to max the soldiers would be losing their lives only i mean but the king would be enjoying all the glory okay so the thing is they understand that the king would be attaining the glory or the success stepping on the dead bodies of the soldiers so do you believe any soldier would take that as acceptable in terms of you know being ignored in terms of not being even considered into the game right that is not done so now guys uh, that brings to uh, the greed comes from pride or mana kama krodha lobha mana right so the thing is when uh, uh, the leader gets greedy lobe right so the team members loses their faith so the team leader in the corporate world what he has to do is it always has to be that we 
did achieve this success we worked on this project and we were able to deliver we take this so the thing is the success part and everything goes to the team right so it's everybody feels included everybody feels their contribution to be acknowledged i mean see guys it's not always about money people also wants to be recognized about their contribution right when when they are working hard when they are putting forward efforts they want it to be recognized because then they also feel uh, uh, a dignified self respect uh, in terms of that i am able to contribute i am fruitful in the way i i work so that gives them a lot of confidence so uh, so if you are a leader who is is leading a team or a group you need to understand it is always we who has delivered you cannot be i when you have already reached the top because then you are simply ignoring your team members that cannot be done right guys so th that brings us to the fourth point which is the pride pride or mana pride or mana is uh, triggered by the greed only see the pride comes from thinking yourself as the leader as the main contributor you take all the pride you take all the credit you take all the glory in 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 when it comes to you know success and you start blaming uh, your team member or your manpower or uh, everybody who is reporting to you when it comes to a failure now what does that do is that spreads negativity all around in your team now with a team whose mindset is triggered by negativity you cannot be staying on the top because you cannot be delivering your best as because your contribution is a part of the team's contribution and the whole contribution which will be recognized by the management or by the top brasses is a cumulative contribution of your team members and you like let's say if you are uh, working on a statistical report see you cannot forget that guy who did work 7 days collecting the data for analysis using the analytical tool you cannot ignore that guy who printed those uh, reports for you you cannot ignore that person uh, maybe uh, you know who's taking care of the pr part for you you cannot uh, you know forget that person who has done the cumulative synopsis report for you to present it in a meeting now when the meeting happens see not always the whole team goes on you go on there as their representative now if you are a pride filled leader when the appreciation or the clapping starts happening you take all the credit you know you have that crown all around your head that yes i am the king now that cannot be you are not you are taking the pride on behalf of the team see if you feel proud about your team and if you tell it openly on the board management or the seminar or other things see people also who are listening to you understand you as a contributing team leader right instead of like oh he's a boastful pig right we hear it a lot of times when they say oh he's beating his own drums yeah the success came but i also know how things happen it's his team who's working their ass off and he is taking all the credit we know the internal thing now what is happening is those people might not have the guts to come up to you and say on your face but trust me anybody who's on upper hand of you will one day say that you know what we understood everything we understood that your team was logging off when you were taking all this credit so the thing is please don't feel proud about your uh, contribution only your contribution is a reflective contribution to the cumulative contribution of your team so please take care of that please don't feel that boastful that your team starts feeling so very negative right if you are a team leader you have to be uh, thoughtful about that right now that brings us to the uh, uh fifth uh, uh senses that we need to take care of is the uh, arrogance or the mad kama krodha lobha okay mana and mad mad means arrogance see when you are a leader you have to be somebody who's acceptable within the team as somebody who's open to learning who's open to suggestion who's open to the problems of the employees the team members right now when you have an arrogance you know inflated arrogance makes you you know you might be feeling very big but the thing is that really doesn't matters in today's world nobody gives a damn about how inflated you feel because one fine day or other when the hot gas is out the balloon is going to hit the surface very hard you need to understand that 
once the hot air balloon you know gets drained of all the hot air it falls on ground very badly so if you are a, a leader self declared uh, arrogant one now nobody likes arrogance if you are showing your attitude honestly speaking you know your wife might be taking it your children might be taking it or you maybe your team members might be taking it you know uh, because it's their position is such that they cannot say something but trust me this will make you so arrogant that one fine day you might show this arrogance to your boss also and that day guy let me tell you no matter even if you are a director of the company or the founder of the company or whosoever you are going to get kicked out of it honestly i'm telling you you are going to get kicked out of it and that is making your life going to be hell honestly speaking a uh, uh, boastful or arrogant person when they fall on the ground they fall face you know face world and it gets so very hurtful for them i have seen it in my 20 years of work experience that you know boastful arrogant uh, managers and team leaders who were enjoying basking in the glory of success and uh, recognition rewards and everything one fine day you know he uh, you know uh, shows the wrong attitude to the wrong person okay and that is handled in a such a manner that this person is left nowhere now that arrogance cannot be there you cannot be an arrogant person when you are a leader you have to be humble you have to be accepting you have to be filled with gratitude you know about your team about their contribution unless that happens you know your arrogance you know might make you feel very big but the thing is that is not going to stay for a long time when your team speaks about you very highly even at your back that is a kind of satisfaction that is a kind of recognition which a arrogance cannot cannot ever overcome okay and that brings us to the last point uh, which is harsha kama krodha lobha do you remember kama krodha lobha mana okay madha and now it is harsha harsha means over excitement see when you are a leader when you are a leader on top managing teams managing operations you know in a large scale and uh, you know taking care of responsibilities you cannot be over excited stephen covey in his book the seven habits of highly successful people have said uh, that uh, the victory of uh, private life uh, makes uh, the uh, makes you victorious in the public life a victory over private life is a victory over public life so what does that mean when you are a leader you need to be very very careful about how you act how you behave not only in your per you know professional life but also in your personal life like i have seen many a times see very successful uh, when i spoke to that guy or when i later spoke to that manager or uh, maybe uh, you know with some communication happening uh, i have always heard that they say that well see i don't uh, drag my baggages into uh, my work station like i don't uh, drag my personal life into my uh, work life so why the work life has to be dragged into my personal life now the thing is uh, i'll quote an example see i knew somebody who was very successful as a uh, direction of uh, director of operations now the thing is he was wonderful person he was professionally he was very sound he was um, a very um, uh, you know contributive he was delivering the best and everything now people might say what he does in his personal life is none of the matter of the management or you know the team members and others now the thing is later on when he uh, reached into a position wherein he was managing a lot of team uh, yes he gradually became uh, comfortable with his position he started developing a bit of greed uh, he started developing a bit of pride and yes that made him a bit arrogant also and then what happened was uh, we were saying uh, you know like uh, yes his deliverables are unquestionable but in his facebook profile though it's not of your business you cannot say that when you are open uh, book into the social media see in his facebook pages uh, all that you could uh, see the posting is you know he uh, hanging out in some desk or some bar yes having good time is fine but the kind of pictures that he was posting is not uh, acceptable i mean like um, you know uh, you might be hanging around with friends uh, you know whatever it is but the thing is you need to understand you are heading uh, the organization and you running around with uh, you know skimpy clad uh, young girls uh, with uh, your beer bottle and your uh, shirt being open and you know you almost uh, vomiting and this kind of pictures uh, taken posted and uh, over your instagram profile over your facebook 
profile that really loses the respect i mean now if you are happy about celebration why don't you keep it personal i mean why do you have to post uh, you know if you are literally stoned out you know somebody is taking a picture and that picture goes viral over the social media and this goes on and you boast around and say oh friday tgif and you know we had a party and uh, you know i was stoned i was drunk uh, we tried this and that now that is not really i mean when you are a leader yes by default it is that you are under the microscope you are under the limelight you are uh, being taken as a role model by a lot of your employees you might not be aware of lot of employees might be uh, looking forward to be like you to be like analytical like you or to be as productive like you or to be as contributive like you but the uh, you know when they see this other side of uh, let's say the darker side of you uh, you know uh, in in a way where in actually what you are as a person uh, you know maybe uh, uh, you know uh, you are mistreating people you you know uh, i i i remember seeing a uh, uh a video of his wherein he is literally uh, he was so drunk that he is literally throwing money on the waiter's face uh, as tips okay and that was so uh, so sad i mean that that uh, made us believe that yes today he might not be behaving with me uh, within the team like that but uh, he is actually like uh, this kind of person and uh, this day or other he might lose his temper okay he might have that anger and he might treat me the same way and well to be uh, honest to hell with his arrogance i don't give a damn about his attitude okay so you know there is a lot of negativity which happens because of your over excitement so if you are having fun if you are having an enjoyment in your life you need to understand how to control that also right so guys with that note uh, you know we wrap up today's session okay once again i remind you to uh, visit the career counseling online facebook page and reserve your seat for the open discussion uh, you know uh, which we are going to have on friday 7 pm uh, ist okay and it's going to be very interactive because i have kept the limitation of the seats up to 12 only 12 professionals coming across and we are going to discuss how uh, you know the mental health uh, gets affected by the physical health and how it is important uh, amid this uh, pandemic post covid 19 when the lockdown is over once we are returning back to our work once we are returning to normal and see how is it that our mental health going to you know uh, support us to go ahead with the stress to go ahead with the you know workload and so on so how is the mental health and the physical health going to be uh, you know taken care of how we need to take care of and how is it going to you know contribute in the long run how can you know we uh, have a better work life balance because with this pandemic and people working from home and everything going on see uh, uh, this is a new work environment that we are you know entering so we need to be uh, optimal with our mental health and that can be attained through physical uh, health maintenance also so we are going to talk to a couple of great people a great professionals uh, an actor we are going to talk about uh, a strategist from uh, UAE uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, automobile uh, companies in UAE in Dubai uh, the Al Nabuda uh, uh, um company and uh, he um, uh, sort of uh, is is the main strategist and um you know marketing guy uh, there so we're going to talk to him we're going to talk to uh, bishwajit we're going to talk to a lot of other people uh, all those who have shown interest and uh, plans to join please guys uh, go ahead and reserve your seat uh, that will see obviously it's free of uh, charge so there is nothing involved in terms of ticket purchasing or anything so just reserve your seat to ensure that on uh, on friday we have a very interactive session without any kind of technical hiccups on that note guys as i always say uh, learn contribute and evolve okay please do like our facebook page which is career counseling online join the linkedin group which is career counseling online the interactive group and uh, if you have any queries or if you want to talk about any situation that you are facing uh, due to this covid 19 could be a job loss could be a termination could be uh, you know um, any kind of financial losses that you are facing or any trouble anything that is troubling in terms of your work or uh, you know work life balance and so on 
uh, due to this uh, pandemic and everything you can you are most welcome to write to me and i assure you i guarantee you your confidentiality your name would not be revealed but i am going to uh, reply to your mail for sure uh, the mail id would be career counseling online at gmail.com okay so i will put all this in in the description of the video also so please guys stay positive stay focused and always always remember the six points of staying on the top with that note today take care and have a wonderful day bye bye